Hello, my name's Michael and I'm a crew member at Baltic and this is Joy Labinjo's Our Histories Cling to Us. In this exhibition we have 12 paintings by Joy, um, amazingly all made in 2019. Joy is a British uh, Nigerian artist born in Essex and she moved up to Newcastle about five years ago to study fine art at Newcastle Uni. She won the sort of prestigious Woon Prize, which is one of the largest graduate art prizes in the UK. She's now living in London and this is her first solo show at a public institution. Almost all of Joy's works are painted in oil on canvas. There is one painted in acrylic. She uses a lot of family photos and found images from the internet, whether it's uh, Instagram or Google Images, etc. Um, and she collages together these different elements to create each composition that we see in this exhibition. Through using the oil paint, she's made these very luminous, bright, sort of exciting paintings. One of my favourite parts of this exhibition is all the different patterns uh, that Joy employs in her work. You can see here this nice pink one with all these plants on. Elsewhere she uses these quite harsh sort of 80s slash 90s patterns on sofas or in um, clothing on some of the figures. She's rendered them really well and I like, enjoy how they've been made and how they pop in sort of the quite plain backgrounds in a lot of the works. The title of the exhibition, Our Histories Cling to Us, is a quote by the Nigerian writer Chimamanda Adichie, um, which Joy has used, and it suggests that our histories are inescapable. Um, we are informed by our histories and um, by our ancestors, etc. And Joy has drawn upon imagery from both her British and Nigerian heritage. Here you can see this plant <laughs> and she actually took this from a next shop window. She was just walking down the street and she quite liked it, took a snapshot and knew that it could occupy the space in a few of these canvases and it does pop up a couple times. And I've had conversations with visitors about how the sort of generic British moments are in a quite harmonious conversation with more traditional West African elements. One of the most enjoyable aspects of this exhibition for me is how playful Joy has been in creating some of her works. This work here is called Love Me Like You Do, which she lifted from an Ellie Golding song. The source imagery is from a catalogue um, that she found these two figures just lying there. So she's built it into a painting using her own wallpaper pattern in the back, which I think is really effective. I think it's worth um, mentioning what the exhibition as a whole feels like. Joy has painted the walls. Uh, these, uh, this is quite like warm yellow colour. Um, and I think in this room, at least, she's created quite an intimate effect, which mirrors sort of all the family imagery um, that she has in the works. This work is called The Final Portrait, and I think it's a really interesting insight into how Joy constructs a composition for her paintings. Um, she's actually used sort of uh, figures from three different source materials. The four figures on the left, she actually flipped around just to suit the composition and then she slotted in these two figures. Um, and I think it's really quite interesting how she's made this final portrait um, from three different sort of places. Uh, this never existed in time. She has completely fabricated it and sort of made this quite harmonious family portrait. And it isn't necessarily just about depicting a family moment. It's a bit more than that and it's quite enjoyable to grapple with as a viewer. I really like this work, it's called Come Play With Us. I like it because it is so luminous and intense. I'm not sure if this will come across um, on the camera as well, but when you look at these sort of orange patches um, against this green background, it's actually quite hard to see. Um, they, it's jarring and it's because she's used such bright colors and she actually does three layers um, for each colour to make it so bright and intense. And I think the background really works when coupled with these uh, foregrounded figures. I love how she's almost sculpted the faces um, of each of the characters with all the different uh, colours and different sort of planes. And I obviously, again, love how she's rendered um, all these sort of children's clothes. Uh, they're just quite graphic, but also quite a dynamic presence when you walk into the room.